Most of the members of the Board of Trustees attended today's emergency meeting by phone from around the state. Such was the urgency of the business before them. I believe everyone on the call here today and here in the boardroom is aware that there's only one agenda item on for today's meeting, and that is a discussion of Senate Bill 1860. That bill would increase the size of the Rutgers Board of Governors from 15 to 19. All those new members would be appointed either by the governor or leaders of the legislature, which would give Trenton much more influence on the university's governance and finances. Today's emergency session comes on the heels of an online campaign started this week by the Alumni Association. Exactly 2,922 uh, people have responded and have sent a total of about 8,500 8, emails, email letters, uh, many with their own personal messages on them to all legislators. The Senate's Higher Education Committee will hold a hearing on the bill, the brainchild of Senate President Steve Sweeney, on Monday. Sweeney has been battling with Rutgers boards for a variety of reasons, including their handling of the Mike Rice basketball team controversy and their opposition to the Rutgers UMDNJ merger. Uh, if you don't think Rutgers doesn't need to be reformed, it's crazy. And honestly, it's a medical school. It's a, com it's, it's a requirement. All four members have to have, new members would have to have a health care background. Two of them have to be Rutgers alum. What are they afraid of? President Robert Barchi, whose tenure at the 45,000 student university has been marked by controversy after controversy, was at today's meeting physically, although at times he looked like he would rather be just about anywhere else. I'm certainly supportive of seeing more expertise in uh, the health professions on our governing boards, and I think there are plenty of ways that we could accomplish that without changing the fundamental balance of representation on those boards. While President Barchi didn't want to take a guess about their chances, the message to all of the trustees today was pretty clear. If you've got any political connections, now's the time to use it. In New Brunswick, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.